If there is one thing that indie brands are good at, it is bringing out the most unique and captivating color stories. And this palette from Unearthly Cosmetics, the Spring Magic Palette, is no different. This is the new Unearthly Cosmetics Spring Magic Palette. I wasn't initially gonna pick this one up, but the more I looked at it, and believe me, I should not have, the more I thought, I definitely love the color story. And it just drew me in and just, I was just so captivated by it. I could not stand it. I just want to start off by saying I love this packaging. I think it is just, it's gorgeous and unique. I'm going to take a Sigma E45 and go into the shade Clove and build that up in the outer corner. Kind of do an angled shape here. Unearthly is absolutely one of my favorite indie brands. I have collected I want to say nearly every single palette. I've even decluttered a few just because the formula over the years has gotten better and better and I wasn't reaching for some of those old palettes so much when they were alien cosmetics. But now I'm, I'm struggling a little bit because I'm not super happy with the, the limited editions, the number of limited editions that keep coming out. I want to see more permanent collections and I wish this one was just announced as permanent as opposed to, you know, depending on the de demand it may or may not be. So I really struggled picking this one up. The color story is hands down gorgeous and breathtaking and I definitely wanted it, but I'm trying to do better as far as avoiding the FOMO for limited edition palettes. I did not pick up this entire collection. I simply did not want it. I want to be more conscientious of how I spend my money and on what. As much as I've never been bothered by the pre-orders, they are not as few and far between as I was hoping they would be. The newest Unearthly palette coming out looks to be a warm tone palette from the artwork, which by the way, Unearthly has probably my absolute favorite artwork for indie brands. And Amanda does the most amazing color stories to begin with, but it looks like it's going to be a heavily warmed tone palette if I were to take a guess off of the artwork. So I'm not sure if I'll pick it up or not. On a Melt 818 brush, I have picked up the shade Cleanse and I adore this shade. I'm going to use this to buff out that deeper shade and keep this more of a cool toned look. I already filmed a different look with a different palette, so my makeup has been on all day, and I'm not entirely sure how well it's gonna look by the time I'm finished with this eye look. If you're familiar with the Unearthly Cosmetics Fall Magic Palette, that thing is absolutely breathtaking and has been around for years, and the formula has been reformulated formula reformulated multiple times and has only gotten better. I got rid of my old palette for the newest one because I love the layout. I love the way that it was changed and updated. So I haven't even played with the, the newest 
release of it and I'm kicking myself. I have to get around to doing that soon. But it was one of their most popular palettes. On a Sigma E38, I'm gonna pick up the shade Breezy and place that in the inner one third of my lid. And I'm gonna really pack it in first. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. And it looks exactly like it does in the pan. Now, very carefully, I'm going to blend it into my crease. And I want to be careful to not over blend it into those cool toned browns. On a Sigma E15, I'm going to pick up that shade Clove one more time. And I'm going to gently sweep this along my lower lash line and bring it up to meet that outer corner. And I'm just gonna carefully buff out that outer edge with that Melt 818 brush with no additional product. I'm gonna use the Sigma E38 brush and pick up this shade Grimoire. And I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm gonna use my finger and pick up the shade Grimoire and try that instead. This is actually turning into a gorgeous cool toned look. I'm gonna turn my brush sideways a little bit. I'm gonna use that shade Clove one more time just to kind of pat over this outer corner. On an E42, I picked up the shade Clouds and I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit and place this all along the front of my lower lash line. I'm not entirely sure I like that, so I'm gonna pick up the shade Full Moon on a Melt pencil brush, and I'm gonna place that over, whoops, over the top of this on the inner corner. better. I do like that better. And then I am going to take that shade clouds on an E36 and highlight my brow bone. A little bit of a blue shift. I'm going to do the same thing with that same E36 and just kind of gently sweep it through here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what that needed. This is just gorgeous. I need a liner though, because I feel like this look needs a liner. I finished off my look with the NYX lip liner in the shade Mauve and my Dior Rouge Velvet in the shade 824 Saint Germain. And for my lashes, I am wearing the Kiss Lash Masterpiece in the style pret a -Porter. I love this aesthetic of the zombies with the flowers and the skulls. This just screams aura and I love it. I love that it's more of a cool toned story. I have an affinity for cool tones. I just love them. As of right now, the Spring Magic palette is still in stock. It is listed as pre-order. It is $78. You are getting 18 shades and it's an even split between mattes and shimmers. I actually ended up using one, two, three, four, five, six of the shades today. And all six of these shades blended so beautifully, they did not muddy up. The mattes actually feel better than they do in the previous palettes. I'm not sure if this formula was changed or not, but they didn't feel as dry. Their formula keeps getting better and better. And the only thing that I have to complain about in this palette is there's more pinks shimmers than I would like. I wish that we had gotten rid of 
at least one of the pink shimmers and traded it off with another blue shimmer. Right now it is listed on the website as in stock, but as a pre-order, and I would love to see this palette remain permanent. And if there is one thing that I appreciate about Unearthly Cosmetics, it is the use of this packaging. Each palette comes in its own coordinated box. They are secure and placed in this foam insert. I wish I had the energy of that four-year-old. I really do. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I truly appreciate you. Everything on my face is listed down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated and I do earn a small commission. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.